finally coffee. We were in the Jeep at 8.30 this morning. It's now 9.45. I finally got my coffee. So guess where we're headed? To the mountain. Oh, look, I'm here too. I have Starbucks as well. <laughs> Going to the mountains. The Cascades this time. And then we're uh, going to wind our way over to Leavenworth, where we have a hotel room for the night. But we are living the dream. We headed out early Saturday morning through the pristine mountains on Snoqualmie Pass, planning to adventure our way to Leavenworth for our weekend getaway. Welcome to Liberty, the oldest mining town in the state of Washington. The town of Liberty has done a great job preserving the history of the place. The displays that they have outside were so fun to look at on our trip through. The bathrooms at Liberty are also a museum and a library. We also had to pause a moment and admire the craftsmanship. It's so cute. A little squirt. After we left the quaint town of Liberty, we headed up into the mountains outside of town. We'd done a little exploring here before, but decided that we wanted to see it in the winter months. But the farther we got into the mountains, the snowier it got. And so when we got to a hairpin turn on a switchback that was quite icy, we decided it was best to turn around as this was not our objective for this trip. We headed back down the mountain and continued up and over Bluett Pass. We had found a back road from just on the other side of Bluett Pass down into Leavenworth and we really wanted to take this route into town as seeing the town from a different angle, especially in the snow, seemed like a really good idea. And we were right. Even though it was a bit icy, it was gorgeous. It was a fun way to see the town. <laughs> is that not a saying? It is now. <laughs> we use that forever. Holy Bavarian buttons. <laughs> An expression of surprise. Yes. My goodness. Holy Bavarian bottles. Since our hotel room wouldn't be ready for another hour or so, we decided to drive up into the mountains and back down through Plain. This is only the second hotel room we've ever stayed in. It's 
cozy. So and people walking on a ceiling. Well, that's just life in a hotel. The current continental breakfast option. You get a pick and they deliver it to your room. You're drinking coffee on the deck of Mozart. <laughs> yes, they didn't make it. Your hands are poised to eat. At the Fairbridge, you can rent DVDs and you get free popcorn with it. I guess it's not free. You can pay $5 and get a movie and popcorn in your room. Now this is breakfast in bed. What do you think of your... Where are you? What do you think of your breakfast? <laughs> it's pretty funny, but it's better than nothing, I guess, because you can't go to a restaurant. After our fun breakfast in bed, we went out and got coffee and danishes at a cute little shop in town, and then took the river walk through the park before it was time to head back home for the day. It's hard to see the two clowns in the trucks stuck down in the lake bed beyond the sign that says access restricted no motorized vehicles allowed this is why they close stuff it's because of jerks like this it's a wildlife access or a crossing area. That's why it's closed. How's your pizza? Modtastic. Want to look at your pizza? Looks delicious. My pizza looks delicious too.